our public meetings uh, due to COVID-19. So um, I'm gonna gavel this uh, July 14th meet, guild meeting into order. So um, uh, Deidre, do you have your agenda in front of you? Uh, Colin, you have his agenda? Yes, I do. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you if you don't mind, could you read uh, Corlista's uh, part on the agenda? Okay. Hi, Cindy. Hi there. What's Callista's part? The very first part. I, I just called the meeting. Oh, okay, just make it. All right. Go ahead. The Urban League Guild and the Auxiliary Volunteer Group of Men and Women who are a cross section of our community, serving as ambassadors, supporting fundraising, promoting membership, and volunteer opportunities to serve the Urban League of Greater Cleveland. Guild members are actively involved with working as mentors and support to education and youth development, days of service activity that supports the community, public awareness of the Urban League in the community, civic engagement, fundraising, and Urban League events, including Black History Month celebrations, annual Equal Opportunity Day luncheon, and other special projects. Okay. So with that, um, I sent out a uh, reminder email with the agenda and meeting notes in it. Um, and then I sent out another agenda because I had to correct the, that we're looking at the June minutes. So if we can take this uh, a second to look over the June minutes so we can approve those, if you have them in front of you, which I do. And just note that um, Corlista had to take notes at that meeting so um, just make that note. So if there's no corrections or, or ads, I need a motion on the floor to accept the June minutes from our meeting. And if you make the motion, by the way, please say your name. Gina Eaton, I make the motion to accept June minutes. I need a second. Colin Jackson, I second the motion. Motion properly uh, made and second. All in favor, say aye. 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 So everybody on now is a member, so everybody should be saying, should be voting. Aye. Okay. But you asked to mute, so. What? Oh, okay, let me clear that up. That's why I did that. That's why I did this. Got you. Um, so for the, just so I can clear this up. So for the purposes of voting, um, you can unmute yourself for the purpose of voting for the for our recording secretary to be able to hear what the uh, the votes were. So now um, all opposed say nay. All right, having no no nays, uh, the minutes are accepted. All right, so I'm going to move into uh, the president's report. We've been um, quite busy, even though we're dealing with COVID-19, as we have um, a uh, COVID-19 task force and a 2020 census task force. And those two groups have been um, very active in the community. So I want to give them uh, a shout out. So uh, yesterday, um, Colin and myself and Brian went over to uh, Way Park Elementary School to finish our Fulfilling the Promise we had nine laptops that we uh, passed out over there along with 2020 census information and um, voter awareness information. You can check that out on our uh, Guild Facebook page to see that event. On um, July the 4th, we were at, we were at Wade Parks. No, I'm sorry, I'm skipping, hold on. July the 4th, we were at um, the East Cleveland, um, East Cleveland, the East Cleveland Market. Uh, doing a PPE giveaway and COVID-19 testing. Obviously the guild was there to promote the 2020 census. It was a, a great event. Um, Tammy Kennedy and uh, Colin Jackson attended that. Um, and uh, Fonda, by the way, and, and a note, I'm sorry guys, a note about Fonda, she just messaged me and said that she had a death in her family. So let's everybody pray for her. She will not make this meeting. Uh, Gina, if we could um, 
get a, a condolence card for her. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, so that, that event went off really, really well. I think you probably saw some of that on the news. It, it went, was really, really good. So um, then on June the, uh, the 24th, we were at uh, Wave Park School again. The kids were over there uh, planting flowers and we had 2020 census information and we did a live broadcast from there. Uh, that was good. Um, on June the 20th, we participated in a, um, this is what democracy looks like rally. We marched from uh, Martin Luther King up Buckeye to about, uh, I believe 128th in Buckeye. You probably saw some of that on the news. Um, that was a good event. Uh, then on June the night, I'm going backwards in the dates. June 19th, uh, we uh, community uh, census uh, or, uh, group had a program with uh, Councilwoman Phyllis Cleveland. Uh, myself and Colin Jackson attended that. That was well attended. What we did at that event, we did two things. We were uh, enumerators, some of us. And uh, we did the 2020 census job fair too at the same time. They had barbecue and stuff. Uh, that was a well attended uh, event as well. Uh, then June the 17th, we were at the Greater Cleveland uh, AIDS Task Force and they had a food uh, giveaway and me and Colin were there passing out uh, information about the census. Again, a well attended group, a well attended event. Now that event will be reoccurring. So as soon as they get me the flyer, I'll send that out to you guys if you guys want to come out and help. Now, what I will say with all of these events, I don't want anybody to feel any kind of way that you don't come to the events because we're still dealing with COVID-19. As you know, in Ohio, the numbers are spiking. So I'm still encouraging people to stay inside, uh, be safe, but just send out our information as you get it. Quality information is the key. We want to give out... Um, correct information um, and, and just have people do what they can from where they are. So some of us are out on the ground. So we're, the Guild is obviously working as you can see. And again, as I said, you probably see some of this stuff um, on the news. So I alluded to earlier about the, um, the 2020 Census Task Force, just, just hard at work um, in Cuyahoga County, we are still the lowest counted county in the state of Ohio. So there's a lot of work to do there. Um, the city of Cleveland had today their 2020 census blitz. So you may have seen them out in the city if, if you were around. Um, that's still working. Um, we signed up, but at, I think uh, we just, me and Colin discussed and Brian, with the numbers spiking the way that they are, we did not send out a uh, reminder to go to that event just because I, everybody used their best judgment. Um, I just want everybody to be safe. I, I really want everybody to be safe. We'll get to the point where we can meet back in person, but now is not that time. So just everybody be safe. Um, and that's pretty much it for the president's report. Any questions? Good. Um, nothing from national. I can tell you that nothing from national. I, I have an annual report that I have to get in this week. And that's about it from National. Yes, Deidre. I can only see four names. I need to know who's here. Okay, I can tell you who's here. Um, uh, my, well, some of them are phone numbers. So I'm just gonna ask everybody to introduce themselves because some of them are phone numbers. How, how about we do that? And then, we'll, then I need a motion to accept the president's report. So let's start with attendance. My name is Billy Sharp and I'm president of the Urban League Guild. Uh, Deidre. Hi, I'm Deidre Wilson, uh, recording secretary for the Urban League Guild. Uh, Colin, I'm just going by what I can see. Uh, Colin Jackson, finance chair. Gina. Gina Eaton, membership chair. Uh, Cindy. Oh crap. Are you still muted, Cindy? Are you gone? Wait, hold on. 
Okay. Gabriella? I got Gabriella, I got Cindy. Then I, somebody's calling from a phone number. Hi, it's Cindy Dempsey. Okay. Cindy Dempsey, sorry. That's okay. And then I got somebody just calling in from a phone number. I don't think it can be Cindy. <laughs> I don't know if it's me or not. Is it It's 216-470-6622? No, because I can see your name okay. Oh, okay. On, the, on the phone. I can't see their, their picture. So I, I got one more person. Jason. Jason. Okay, I got everybody except that phone number. Thank okay. you. Because they're there to let you know, DJ, there are 10 people on this uh, call, okay? Is it a 440 number? Is it a 440 number? Let me see. My no, number is 216-347-2337. Yeah. Mm -mm. I'm Darla Alexander, new member. My name should show. I don't know if my name is showing. It is. It is. It is. Okay. Well, I only, I only sent out the information to the group. Just let me in the group chat. Darla Alexander. Okay. I think the phone number was Adrian Jones. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I see that. Well, I can't see and write a sign. Thank you, Gina. Okay, so um, now I'm finished with the president's report. Can I get a motion to accept the president's report? And again, please say your name. Gina Eaton, I make a motion to accept the president's report. I need a second. Please say your name. Hi, Jason, second it. Thank you, Jason. All right, properly second. Uh, at this point, you can unmute yourself to vote. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Uh, aye. 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 Thank you. All opposed? So uh, having no no's, the president's report is accepted. Okay, so now we will we will go into the uh, finance report. Uh, Gabriella, treasurer's report. I'm sorry. Uh, yes, I'm here. Um, there isn't much of an update since last month, since we still um, have largely been working remotely and haven't held any in-person events. Um, I've talked to the treasurer for the Urban League, uh, Wanda. Um, about getting uh, everyone, sorry, about getting, do you, do you, I've talked to uh, Wanda about getting uh, all of the members an updated uh, actual printed report. Um, the Urban League itself is still working uh, remotely, so they're not uh, in the office. Um, so she hasn't uh, had a chance to get back to me uh, because of more pressing matters, but I hope to get an actual physical report to everyone as opposed to um, just sort of updating. Um, we have some outstanding uh, financial matters. Um, right now, we owe a refund to a member um, for half of the membership fee um, that was overpaid. Um, we shouldn't have any outstanding deposits. Um, as all of those should have been processed and gone through um, as opposed to the last report. So we have about an outstanding negative $42 that needs to come out and then have recently just deposited um, $170. So that's been the only change in the report. Um, and then uh, monthly ongoing fees with Zoom. Um, a new um, line item, but other than that, everything is pretty much at a standstill. Okay. Um, just to add to that, um, the uh, I'm I'm paying for the Zoom account, and then I will just submit a uh, invoice to you, and you submit it to to Wanda. Okay. Okay. Um, so, are you going to do that as a one-time um, submission, or are you going to do it as monthly? 
Well, it, it has to, it, you pay it monthly, so it has to be monthly. Mm, okay, then um, I will make sure that uh, um, even if it's outstanding because Urban League hasn't paid yet, that it is at least reflected on our balance sheet. Okay. Um, any questions for Gabriel? Now, mind you, as she is, is giving that report, she's not allowed to give out numbers because we're, we're broadcasting live. So don't ask her like a balance. We'll get that in person. Any questions? All right, having no questions, um, I need a motion to accept uh, Gabrielle's treasurer's report. Anybody? Motion to accept the report. Say your name. <laughs> Colin Jackson. Okay, now I need a second, and whoever seconds, be sure to say your name for recording purposes. Gina Eaton, I second the motion. Okay, again, we are about to vote on the uh, treasurer's report so you can unmute yourself. All in favor, say aye. 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 Thank you. All opposed say no. Having no opposed, uh, the motion to accept the treasury report is accepted. Okay, as of right now, we don't have any upcoming events, but we're about to go into committee reports and some of those committees will be announcing um, the events that they are working on. So then that will give us uh, a fall schedule. So um, as I told you, uh, Fonda had a definite family and she is our uh, healthy awareness chair and she will not be here today. So we will, I will suspend her report. Um, Brian is not here either. So the voter awareness report will be suspended. He did submit it, um, right. Deidre. So I will uh, forward that to you. Okay. Um, and now we're on to finance. So Colin, I wanted, want you to talk about one, your uh, virtual event, but then the uh, event that you host, that we hosted with uh, CEO, CEO Mockaby. So start with the event we hosted with CEO Mockaby, then go into the rest of your report. Colin. Not a problem. So uh, on Juneteenth of all days, um, we were able to connect CEO Mockaby as well as about 12 to 13 uh, community members, uh, leadership members, I should say, from the Gun Foundation, the NAACP, um, CMHA um, and various other leaders in our community around the issue of COVID-19 relief as well as testing. Uh, this was in an effort to make sure that the resources that are uh, distributed by the governor and we were connecting with the governor's staff um, are distributed in the right way. Um, CEO Mockaby brought up a very good point of you know you could drop testing sites in communities but if they are too far apart or they are not with trusted partners, then they are not of use to the community. So uh, we had a very open dialogue with two of the directors from the Minority Task Force Force on COVID-19. Um, and they assured us that we would be their trusted partners in Cuyahoga County um, for all things relating to COVID-19, whether it be testing, marketing, things of that nature. Um, out of that meeting, uh, one thing that we do, and I, Billy, I'm, I'll be pre presumptuous and announce this. Um, we will, we are on schedule to have a testing site actually at the Urban League's office uh, around COVID-19. Um, that is the, the first level of success from that event. Ultimately, this was just about connecting us with uh, the governor and his resources and making sure we can be as best service to the community as possible. So that happened in June. Um, and now we start looking forward. Um, as the finance chair, uh, I believe that it is important that we operate in a way that we are uh, contributing as much as possible to the work of the Urban League. Um, and with that said, um, I am going to make it my mission to not just have a one fundraiser, but several mechanisms that generate funds for the Urban League. So uh, the first one is going to be a virtual fundraiser. Um, any of you all who are involved in politics at this time know that fundraisers are being held entirely via Zoom, pretty much how we're doing now. Um, so that is essentially my idea. What we'll do is that on a date uh, given by the president, of course, um, 
let us know what days works for him. And what we'll do is essentially something like this uh, with a uh, donation uh, RSVP link where after you send your X amount of dollar donation, you will receive a, a Zoom link and you will be able to access the Zoom. Uh, essentially with these fundraisers, the key is that you have a positive theme, something that draws people in. And second part is that you have uh, credible speakers um, who can speak to those issues. So in, in my head, how this is working, depending on the theme, of course we have CEO Maccabee, and then depending on what we're actually focusing on on the theme, um, which I would hope would be something that we're gonna carry through through the year, um, we will go and try to find two or three more speakers to actually fill out the full program. Again, it's a virtual thing, so it's going to be very low cost, nothing more than what we have in our Zoom subscription. Um, and then, you know, uh, after that, it's all profit. So that is one thing that's a little bit more valuable than actually doing a sit down dinner. We have to pay for venues and all those things. If we do this correctly and our marketing is correct, um, we can have a very successful profitable event. So uh, that's essentially the plan for the big kind of fundraiser. Um, I would love to do that sometime after the election before the end of the year. Uh, the second avenue is, um, you know, I have, a, I have a buddy and he told me something about t-shirts. He said, uh, t-shirts are like billboards you wear. And with the current situation that we have right now, uh, the even more important one is the mask you wear, right? The mask is, is the thing that if you walk out of your house now and you forget that, you're turning around and get it. So everyone's going to have to wear these masks. I think it would be very um, appropriate for us to invest some of our funds, whether it's after the fundraiser, whether it's um, an initial donation that gets us started, however we do that. Um, but we advertise masks. Now these masks that I would get, and they would be printed with Urban League Guild logos and things of that nature, um, are they cost between about $6 and $5. Pretty sure we can get them down to a $5 price. And if you guys have been purchasing masks recently, you know the going price is about them is about $10 a piece. So at $10 a piece, we're making $5 on every mask. Um, the audience for these masks would be uh, not only our membership, um, who would love to have a piece of mask, a piece of article to represent what they're doing, but also the outside community. Um, and then hopefully what we'll do then is package then our membership in with a mask cost. Um, so again, using the marketing tool of the mask and also to hopefully press membership. Um, I don't know what the number is, maybe the membership chair can tell me, but I'm thinking we're making five, an extra additional $5 uh, every mask with a good number of memberships. You know, hopefully we have over 20 members. That's a hundred bucks right there. Um, and you know, it's a black business who would be happy to work with us. So um, I guess the overall message here is that, uh, my new role here, and which I'm happy to join in my second meeting, is about bringing resources not only to the Urban League, but to the community. And my goal is to ultimately continue to raise funds to help us keep doing the good work that we have all heard from our president's report, in the report. Um, any questions for Colin? Because actually Colin, I have one. Um, uh, as you talked about the uh, Zoom conference we did with uh, the governor's task force on COVID-19, um, has the second report that they were doing, has the second report came out yet? The second report has not been released yet, uh, but I, I'm, I'm almost sure it's because of the spiking numbers. So because of the spiking numbers, uh, they, they can't release the report based on bad numbers, right? Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I'm glad you bring up that. Uh, a big part of having that meeting was about that first preliminary report coming out and a lot of our community was not consulted. Um, I found that uh, 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 not only disrespectful, um, but irresponsible. And now that we are in a situation now where we're going to have another report, it was my goal to make sure that at least in Cuyahoga County, our voices were heard. So um, we have Dr. Modlin, who's from here. We have a few other individuals that are from Cuyahoga County that will be making sure our voice is heard in the next report. And it accurately reflects the feelings of the community and the needs of those people within those communities. And, and that's exactly where I was going to see if um, that conversation 
uh, influence that second report. And obviously, we're, we're happy to hear that um, the affiliate will become at some point a COVID-19 testing site. Okay, so any other questions for Colin? If not, then um, we'll move on to um, the membership. So our membership chair is Dr. Gina Eaton. So um, for the membership committee, we continue to have some questions. Um, we, we need a comprehensive list of who all the members are. Um, we think that if we start with that list, then we can branch out and maybe, um, especially considering our environment and um, limit limitations that we have, that you know we could do, you know, email, text messages, some sort of um, uh, mass communication to people in our smaller circles and networks to help grow membership. Um, but we want to make sure that we can tap into all of the members and so we need that list we also want to create basically a google spreadsheet of this information and we're not we're not sure but we want to explore whether or not that is an option to share with the affiliate because there's some disconnects in becoming members and you know the affiliate having that information making the payment um you know whether or not we can access Gabrielle for the um, uh, Square or you know if we use PayPal and, and Billy you explained in our last meeting you know how to put in the amount that you want to pay but I don't know that that's just readily available um, information to someone who decides on a whim I'm gonna do it um, so we propose possibly um, creating like a small link to even and i don't know if this is an option i don't know if we can secure it or not we think we can a small google site that has three steps collects the person's information um sends them to paypal to pay the membership fees and then the third step will automatically roll them into the membership packet um Our, oh, we also have a rough draft and I emailed them to you. Um, we didn't know, do we have to have a uh, post approved for membership? Um, is, is there a single place where information is shared uh, for the Urban League Guild? And so we sent you some drafts that were, that were created. Um, and we're hoping that that will kind of stimulate maybe a, a social media kind of campaign for membership. And then we also talked about our annual event and basically it's a Zoom mixer, very similar to what Colin was speaking of. Um, Colin loved the idea of the mask. Um, we were also thinking to generate interest to come to our Zoom mixer um, involving <clears throat> black owned restaurants or businesses and they, you know, not knowing if we can get them or help them help to support them through maybe offering um, coupons or, um, you know, a lunch or 20% off or something like that as raffles. Our Zoom mixer would have breakout rooms though um, for each committee to kind of share what that committee's focus and goal and, and you know some of the accomplishments and, and and the direction that the committee is trying to move in and then hopefully the persons that attend the zoom mixer then can identify which committee they would like to be a part of and if we have the website we can just send them straight to that website to kind of streamline everything okay um so the payment part of it in regards to um the Urban League's website, I think, is the only way that we can do that. So when you talk about referring them to a PayPal or whatever, it'd be referring them to this specific um, page where they can donate. The problem I have with that is, and I'll send you um, my uh, new member's uh, uh, email where it has the link that takes you right to that page. The only thing is, after a while, that link expires and it doesn't take you anywhere. So you, like when you send it out, 
every so often you have to replace the link for some reason. You mean the link for paper? The, the, the link that will take you to the, 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 the Urban League's uh, site where you can pay. If you, you can't keep sending that out because at some point it expires. I don't know why it does that. It should always just send you there, but it expires for some reason. Um, I think that is, that's one way. And then, so I'll send you that because it, it gives you all of um, what you have to do, what we stand for, all of that stuff is included. And then I, I agree with you though, once you make that payment, then you go right into getting your, um, your bylaws and your, um, the strategic plan, so on and so forth. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I think that you have a really solid idea. And I did like the, um, the, uh, the draft that you sent for, um, for the social media post. So you asked, is everything in one central place? Well, we have a, uh, we have a Facebook page that does pretty well. And we have an Instagram page that's doing okay. So if we're going to do it, it's a whole campaign that will go out to those two avenues. And then obviously uh, um, we do a mass email for people who are still on our list, but have not joined. So like when I send the notices out for this meeting, it goes to people who are on the list, but they're not necessarily members. So that's why we have to have executive session that only covers the members who are paid. And that's when we talk about finance, so on and so forth. Um, I think uh, that's one way to do it. What I would add to that, to your, uh, to your Facebook post and, and that thing is for you to do as the membership chair, a video um, talking about what membership does, so on and so forth, maybe 30 seconds and we can get that out. I think. Be social media ready. Cause, Cause I had, um, I had Tammy do one so far and Brian did one so far for their, for their respective, their, their respective committees. And it, it works pretty well. And then that way you always have, you can always send it out. When you do your email, you can attach that to it and people can see you visually um, letting them know uh, what your committee does. I have to apologize to the chairwoman because uh, you sent me some emails and I did not respond in time. Just been a little busy, but um, I will respond to those emails that you sent. Okay, because even the one with the uh, with the drafts of I did not send back to you. Hey, this is great or whatever, but I will. Okay. Um, anybody have any other questions for um, Madam Chairwoman? So I take that as a no. Um, so uh, Tammy Kennedy, who is our uh, public engagement chair, is not here as well. So I will suspend her report. Um, at this point, having had two reports that were given, I need a motion to accept our committee report. Oh, and please say your name before you uh, make the motion. Alan Jackson, motion to accept. Gabriel Kelly seconds the motion. There you go, there we go. Okay, so having been properly seconded, uh, all in favor, and you can unmute yourself to vote. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed, say no. There are no no. So the motion to accept our committee report is accepted. Okay, so uh, we talked about our uh, a Zoom account. We have that up and going. I think, uh, 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 Gina, to, to your point about the mixer, because me and Colin were talking before people got on, I got to go back and look at what we're paying for because it may not include some of those um, extra features that you talk about, the um, party rooms and so on and so forth. It may not include that. So I have to go back and look at it. And if it doesn't, we may have to upgrade because right now I believe we're paying um, $14.99 a month. And $14.99 a month gets us one host and unlimited uh, time on the Zoom which is really what I was paying for because there's a free version, but you can only use it for 40 minutes as you guys remember from the last time. And our, our general body meetings are, should be about two hours. We're going to be under that today. I hope. Okay, Gina. Gotcha. Okay. All right. So um, for our next meeting, I'm going to send out, uh, Cause we got to get rolling on this guys. I'm going to send out to all the paid members, our, uh, 20, 20, 2019, 2020 strategic plan. Cause we've got to get a new strategic plan before the end of this year ratified before the end of this year ratified. So I'm going to send that out and I'm going to task us with, uh, uh, 
getting that accomplished by next meeting, okay? Is and, it an uh, annual strategic plan? Say it again. It's an annual strategic plan or? It's, it's, a, it's a two year. So we are, uh, now it's 2020, so now we have to come up with the, the 2021, 2022 strategic plan, okay? And so what happens, uh, it's during that strategic plan, offices will change over. So a new administration is never left with, as they come in, having to come up with a strategic plan. They'll still be one year into our strategic plan. So then they're able to come up with their own and, and so on and so forth. So let's, let's get that done. So we have the next group that's coming in by the end of uh, um, 2021, we have them ready to go. Okay. Um, I am, I will work with Gabriel and uh, Colin to at the same time by, by the end of our, by our next meeting to have our uh, 2020 budget um, ready to be voted on. Now, the good thing is we haven't really spent any money because of COVID-19 for 2020. But uh, with ideas about masks and what we want to do for other things, I, I believe we need t-shirts. We're going to have to have a budget for that. So we're going to have to vote on a budget by next meeting, OK? Are there, uh, for the good of the order, are there any announcements? I'm sorry. Go ahead, DJ. Am I muted? No, you're not. Go ahead. OK. So you just said a budget. You. Uh, Gabriel and Colin, a 2020 budget? Yeah, because we've not certified a budget for this year yet. No. In, but we, 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 haven't, haven't, we haven't been spending any money, though. OK. All right. OK. So any questions? Any announcements by anybody? Any special announcements? Jason, are you at work? Yeah, I am. <laughs> okay, I was wondering you had a mask on. Go ahead. Um, yeah, I had a question. So as a new member, I, I um, haven't paid my dues yet for this year. And when I signed up uh, with you all, um, I was waiting to hear back from somebody to take the payment. So I just had a question about that. Uh, Gabriel, are you still there? You may have got off. Hold on. Let me see if Gabe, Gabe is still here. I'm still here. Um, I can help you out with that. Um, um, we can talk about different ways to do it offline, um, but I'll tell everyone here the information. So if you have any questions about payment or if you paid or how much, um, I'll put it in the chat as well. But you can either call me at 216 544 4320. Or email me at g kelly g k e l l y eleven at hotmail, and I'll put it in the chat as well. So if you have any questions about uh, finance that I couldn't answer um, online, or about payments or any of that stuff, then you can reach me, and I'm pretty accessible, and we can get that taken care of. Okay. All righty. Okay, so our uh, next meeting will be August the 11th, and I'm giving, I'm giving, yeah, I'm giving Gabe enough time to just put it in there. Go, I'm sorry, Deidre, go ahead. So, typically we have one month off in the summer, so are we not having that off because we didn't have a meeting, what was it, April? April, right. Um, I, you, you bring up a good point, and thank you uh, so much, Deidre. Th the reason we won't take off in this time is just because, one, we're, we're dealing with COVID-19 and the community needs our help, and then two, we're rapidly approaching an election, and we've got to get, um, and Brian has already started working on it, our uh, voter awareness uh, event together. So that's going to take all of us to help Brian out with that, and Colin with his, uh, his um, his fundraiser. So no, we're not going to take uh, uh, August off as we normally would. But we 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 had a month off in a month off in the beginning of COVID nineteen. We suspended um, all in person meetings, and we I think we just started back last month with uh, the Zoom meeting. So no. So guys, it got busier for everybody under COVID nineteen. We thought things were going to slow down and grind to a halt, 
for, for those of us who, who've been out in the community and community workers, and those of us who are educators, it, it just got busier. So we, we're gonna have to go all the way through until this is over, guys. Maybe, we, maybe we'll get a break next year. All right. Okay, so uh, for the good of the order, again, our next meeting will be August the 11th. Um, I wanna thank everybody for whoever, who's all tuning in and people who attended the meeting. Um, you can get our information again on our Facebook page. If you wanna become a member, go to that page, get the information and contact either um, Dr. Gina Eaton or uh, Gabrielle Kelly. Gabrielle Kelly. So with that, I'm going to adjourn this meeting.